Hey boys and girls, welcome back to A Story of Miss Cory. I thought for today, for the craft that we could do with our police theme, would be to make some thank you cards. We had such a great time with Chief Hackenberg and the Mifflinburg Police Department that I thought it would be nice for us to say thank you. Everybody likes to get a thank you note. And I thought we could make some fun three-dimensional cards for our local police department. So let me show you the cards that we're gonna make today. The first one is our easiest card. And this is just a simple coloring craft that can pop out a trophy to say that they're the world's best police department. And that's a pretty simple card to make. And then we have another one here. This is also a 3D card. It's not a crime to say thank you. And when you open it up, oh, we got popping out at us a police badge and a police car. Thank you for all you do for us. And then the third card we're going to make is a little bit more complex. This one is a um, three-dimensional card with foam stickers. It says, thank you. We love you very much. And the heart pops out like so. Isn't that kind of cute? So those are the cards that we're going to show you how to make today. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the easiest of the three card choices. If you're able to stop by the Herm Memorial Library in Mifflinburg, you can pick up these, these cards in craft kits. And we have everything that you need provided, with the exception of the glue and the markers. So in this particular kit, you're going to receive a template of the front cover. And then we also have the um, coloring page for the inside sheet. And then it also comes with some extra, um, extra awards that you can color and cut out of stickers and instructions. So the first thing that you have to do is take your template here and you have to color it. Ta-da! If only it was that easy. You can color it any way, shape, or form that you like. And then when you have it colored, we want you to go ahead and flip it upside down and fold it over to make it look like a book, right? Opens left to right, so you've got kind of like a book form on that. And then you can set that off to one side. Then the next thing you have to do is color your sheet. And look at that. Ta-da! We had that colored already too. And what we did here is we did a combination of markers and crayons, kind of give it a, a kind of multimedia effect. And then you have to cut out this page. The first thing we're gonna do is cut along the dotted outside lines. So for those of you learning how to use scissors, this is a great opportunity for practicing how to use your scissors. And for those that don't know how to use scissors, this is a good way to learn. And um, But if mom and dad or grandma or grandpa or your caregiver would prefer you not to play with scissors, then this is a craft that you can do together. And they can help you with the cutting. Don't be afraid to ask. And once you have this all cut out like so, then it gets a little bit trickier. And for this part, you might need someone a little bit older to help. The next thing we're going to do is we have to fold our our pay well, we have cut out in half like this. And then it's really hard to see, but between this dot and this dot, there are some fainted outline lines. And we have to cut along those lines. If you have an X-Acto knife, that might make it easier. But if you don't, you can come in here on the fold and cut right along this way. And as you cut up along, cutting through both sides of the fold, you'll actually cut it out on both sides in perfect symmetry, which is what we're going for here. Symmetry means that things are the same on both sides of the fold, just like that. And then again, we're gonna come at the top, and at the top, there are two dots, and we're gonna cut a line that way too. Nice and straight across, like so. Now we can open that back up, being careful not to tear your paper. I'm gonna throw our scraps away. And now we're going to fold right here on the line between the cup. You're gonna fold on both sides. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna make our trophy pop out. So what you wanna do is kind of help it along, fold your paper over, and then fold it again like so. And that will help it fold into place. And the same thing down here. 
just like so. So that when you folded it inside out, you have kind of that weird shape to it. And that's what makes it pop when we glue it on our paper. So now we're gonna take our colored cover paper again, and we're going to get a glue stick. I recommend a glue stick for this part of the crayon or the card project because um, regular glue will make your paper too um, bumpy and sticky, and it'll make it hard to it'll make it um, glue kind of funny. And so you just want to put some glue on the back side of your um, paper. Be sure not to glue where we're popping it up. And you might find it easier, honestly, if you fold your paper back the way you had it and then line it up with your fold and then lay it down nice and neatly like so. And then do the same thing with the other side. And this might take a few tries, so don't get frustrated. Be really gentle and careful. You want to make sure that your fold is lined up nice and straight like so. There, and then you can write whatever message you'd like on the inside of your car. On our sample one, we wrote World's Best Police Department. So World, W-O-R-L-D, apostrophe S, World's Best. B-E-S-T, police, P-O-L-I-C-E, department, D-E-P-A-R-T-M-E-N-T. -E and then at the bottom here, we wrote, thank you. And you can sign your name and you can send this into your local police department where I know they'll be happy to get it. And that's what that card looks like when it's all finished. See how easy that was? Now the next one we're gonna do, in case you didn't notice, yes, I actually did that upside down. So we'll fix that. Although it would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? To send it in backwards, but we'll fix that one. But when you do it the right way, make sure you have it glued the right way, not the way Miss Corey did it. It turns out right. Larry's laughing at me. Okay, so the next craft we're gonna do, and this one we'll do right side up, is the pop-up one. This one's another easy one to do. Again, if you come into the library, we have this kit all ready for you to go. <laughs> Larry, stop laughing at me. So what you wanna do for this card is when you come into the library, you're going to get a template that looks like this. Um, if you aren't able to make it in the library, you can make these templates. You can just go on to the internet and you can print off on a piece of cardstock um, the wording of your choice and some kind of um, graphic that goes along with it. A police car, handcuffs, um, a police badge or a hat, whatever you'd like to do. We chose handcuffs for this one and come up with a fun little saying. When you print it on your cardstock, you want to make sure you print it on the lower half of the paper. Then the other thing you're going to need that's going to come in our kit is going to be a blue or color of your choice piece of cardstock that matches and then we also have um, graphics that you can color and cut out to um, put inside your pop-up card we did a police car and then we have a police badge there's also handcuffs or a hat that you can also color and cut out so the first thing that you want to do on this card is like we did the last one we want to fold it in half but this time instead of going from side to side we're going to make this an up and down card. So the fold's going to go here, and this is what it's going to look like. Okay, then the next step is to take your blue card stock, and we want you to take that and again fold it in half just like you did with the white template that you printed off, like so. Because in order to make these really neat pop up things here, we have to cut some slits here in the sides. Now, if you want to put one big thing, then you know you can put two slits to support it or one in the middle. If you want to put three items on, you can put one, two, three. You can put them at varying lengths so you can have depth perception in your card. So maybe you want like um, a bad guy being chased by a, a police car or in a motorcycle or something, in which case maybe you want the robber up here and the police car back here coming up on him 
or maybe you want to come up with whatever scenario you want. But if you're going to do that, it all depends on how you cut your lines. Now, by what I mean by that is you want to take a pencil and a ruler, and starting with the fold of your paper here, you want to measure up about at least an inch. So an inch on your ruler is the first is the first marking here. Make sure you're looking at inches and not centimeters. An inch is going to give you a real little pop-up. And you want to go on about each side of the ruler here. If you want to go a little bit longer out, because otherwise your pop-up is just going to be this far back. If you want to be way out here, then draw your lines all the way out to here. I did mine about halfway, like this. And since I wanted to put two things in my card, I went ahead and put them on each side. But again, if you want to put like one way on the edge and one way back here, you can alternate that for depth perception. It's entirely up to you what you feel like doing. So you just want to draw your lines like so. Then you want to cut your lines. And you want to just make your straight slits all the way up. And you don't need to go um, cutting across them. You just want to leave them that way. And then here's a little tip I learned from doing this is pull it up and fold it forward and pull this up and fold it forward and then flip it over and fold it back because that'll make it easier when you open up the card on the inside to pop them through so that they bend out. And as you can see, you get this kind of like E shape in your card and you have your pop-ups. We have another one here that we did where they're not quite so far out. See the difference? So that's how you can make them pop out depending on how far you want to go. Then you want to take your, your um, pictures that you've got here and you need to color them and cut them out. We colored it out and cut out a police car and a badge. And then you want to glue it onto your, um, your card again. So again, you just want to put the glue on one side here of the pop-up. And you can glue your thing right here towards the bottom. Make sure you line up with the bottom because otherwise it's going to fold over and over and it's going to bend your bottom. So make sure that the bottom of your, your picture is flush with the bottom of the card there. So we're going to put our police car on this side right here like that. Making sure that we're also flush. That's the reason why I like to use a glue stick. You can move things around. Then to be sure, just push your card back down again and make sure that they pop. See, that was pretty simple, wasn't it? And again, you can write a fun message to the police officers, like thank you, in big letters. Thank you. And then, because you're gluing it onto the thicker paper and you've got the thicker paper to start with, you can use regular glue for this. And all I did with this one again is you just come along the edges. And in here we open up, make sure you have it the right way this time. So we don't have a repeat. And just lay it in there nice and flat. And press your card down good and then repeat on the other side Whee. just like so press them down nice and hard and there's your pop-up card see how easy that was and that makes a nice card to give as a thank you also last but not least our berry card. We love you very much. And this one's not too difficult to do either, but this one's more time consuming. We also have a kit for this at the Herm Memorial Library if you stop into town and pick it up. If you come into town, you're going to get um, some green 
paper, some blue paper, some hearts. You're going to get um, some foam stickers and googly eyes and lots of little brown circles because that's what you need to make the bear. So the first thing you need to do is take your blue paper and make sure that your green paper is shorter than your blue paper. And as you can see, that is not the case with mine. Or you can make your blue, your green paper be your outside card and your blue paper be your inside, whichever you prefer. But for the purposes of our example, we're gonna do it the way that we did earlier. So I end up trimming with my scissors, my green paper so that it fits just inside the blue paper like that with a nice little border. And when you have it that way, you want to fold it in half. So you get a nice crease down the middle. Really fold it hard. Cardstock can be hard to fold, so make sure you get a really nice solid crease there. And then open up your card like so. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build our bear. And we're going to end up guess, estimating that he's going to be about here in the middle. You want to put him right in the middle of the crease. And you want to make sure that he's the same on both sides. And here again, too, you can go ahead and put a little bit of regular glue on him and put that circle right there in the middle. And then we're going to put his head just above his body, just like so. And we're going to tuck it under a little bit because he's a bear. And then we've got all these little brown circles. There should be six of them in your kit. And we just want to put them on for his ears here. And because they're ears, we're going to tuck them under his head. So they pop out just a little bit. Just like so. See how cute that is? Then with your black marker, you can come on in here and you can add his inner ear. You can also use a red marker or a pink marker, whatever color ears you want your bear to have. Then we also have a little black heart for a nose and you put a little bit of glue on him and you're going to want to talk, put that upside down on your, your bear. And we have eyes. So you want to put your eyes on too. Again, a glue stick doesn't work very well on the eyes. So you want to use regular glue. All right. And now we need to do the bear's hands and feet. His feet are just glued at the bottom. One on each side. So that they're symmetrical. Do you boys and girls remember what we said symmetrical was? Same on both sides, right? And then on the hands, you can fold the circle in half. And then just glue half of it. And you can tuck that right on the side here because he's going to be holding your heart. And same thing with this side. Fold it in half, a little bit of glue on, and like so. And then your heart, you're going to have a whole bunch of these hearts in your kit. And you want to make it so that the bear is holding the heart, so you might want to adjust his hands a little bit. And if you have excess glue, that's okay. And then you want to glue your heart down right here. Now, if you really want to make your card pop, we can make a 3D heart. To make a 3D heart, you want to take the other hearts that came in your kit, there should be six total, and we're going to glue them together. There are black lines on the side of your hearts, and those are the sides that we want to glue. So you're going to take this, and we're going to glue it like this on top of the other heart. And you can take your hearts and make sure that you glue, you want to fold them so that the black lines are showing just like that. And then you just want to keep gluing them to the preceding heart in front of it. So you're going to put glue on both sides and then just glue it like this. And then take another one and glue it on there like so. You can keep folding them down. You're going to want to bounce back up because they're all accordion folded. And that's okay. 
And then when you get your last one on there, push down really hard so you can get that good crease in the middle there. And then put some glue on this side. And pull it all the way over. And you're going to get a heart that opens up all the way. And you're going to want to make sure that this glue is really good. The glue dries really good here. You can also draw some paw prints for your bear's feet. Oops. Make sure it's fully glued down. Otherwise his feet are going to fall off. That would not be good. We don't want a bear losing his feet. Just like that. And you can even draw some claw marks on his hands if you'd like. So he looks like he really has paws. We'll do it on this side too. There, isn't he cute? And then you can write on your card something like, we love you very much. Or thank you very much, however you prefer to do it. We could do, we love you very much. Which I'm sure Caesar would approve of. And then you can sign your name on it. Now what do we do about the front of the card? Well as you recall we didn't quite glue this down yet so we're gonna move that off and let that thoroughly dry. You want that to be really really dry before we add it to our blue section. But what, how do we decorate the front of our card? Well in our craft kit we've given you all kinds of little um, cars and trucks and stop signs and police informant signs that you can go ahead and decorate your card any way you like and we gave you an alphabet set so you can spell out the words thank you so you can write T H and if for some reason they don't stick really well you can put a little bit of glue on the back of them and that will make them stick and A, we got to pop out the center of the A here. So it's a good spelling for you that are learning how to spell. And then an N. Where's my N? You put the N on my card here. There it is. Because they're not in alphabetical order. Thank. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There, there's thank, and now we can write the word you. Here's our Y, and our O, and our U. Thank you. And just make sure you push down really hard on these letters to get them to stick. And again, if they don't stick, just use a little bit of your, your um, glue stick to keep them down. And they can decorate any way you want. Maybe you want to put a speed limit sign. These stickers have peely back, so they should stick on their own. So you could put like a speed limit sign there. And maybe a car. Because we all know that everybody drives the speed limit, right? At least we should be. Maybe we want to put a bicycle on here. Because maybe you've had an officer show you how to ride your bike safely. Put your bicycle on here. And maybe we should put a stoplight on here. Because we should always stop for stoplights. And maybe we'll put a... Oops, we need a little bit of glue on that one. He's not quite so sticky. And the red light goes on top. And maybe we should put a little car on here too. Another little fast sports car, huh? And maybe we should put a truck on. Because trucks are cool, right? Everybody likes monster trucks. Monster trucks, monster trucks, mighty massive monster trucks. And maybe a sign that tells us only one way to go, right? So I don't know what, we're going to put RAM stickers in, in the craft bags at the library. So I don't know exactly which ones you'll have. But you can have fun being creative. 
and coming up with fun ways to decorate your sign. So when your bear is completely dry, and we're going to have to wait to do this on ours, but when it's completely dry, you want to fold him over and you want to glue him in place on your, yeah, on your blue card. So that when it's all said and done, you've got your We Love You Very Much card. And he can open up his heart to show. So there it is. Those are your craft cards for, t for today, the 3D cards that we've made. Um, also in each kit, we have a list of all of our local, um, local county and state police addresses. So we have all the addresses that you need to send them to the Mifflinburg Police Department, the Buffalo Valley Regional Police Department, the Union County Sheriff's Department, the Pennsylvania State Police at the Milton Station, the Sunbury Station, and the Seals Grove Station. We didn't include the FBI, but if you want to send a card to the FBI or to the CIA or any of those other federal police officers, you can look those up online under the U.S. government. So thank you very much, guys, and hope you all enjoyed your craft tonight. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.